Hi! Today we'll show you how to up the efficiency of page properties report with the help of the table filter and charts for Confluence app. If you want to know how to create page properties report, see our detailed video. Now, let's see how you can use the table filtering charts for Confluence app with page properties report. Hover over the column headings of your table. You'll see a funnel icon appear next to each heading as you move your mouse pointer near it. Press this icon and the most relevant filter will be applied to the column. Here, I am choosing the date range and then the priority. If you want, you can save the filters, reset or remove them. With pivot tables, you can perform calculations or aggregate numbers in different ways. Press the plus button again and select Create a pivot table option. The standard pivot table is one-dimensional, but you can change the way it looks by choosing different columns and performing various operations. Just choose row and column labels as well as calculated columns and types of calculations. For example, I want to count the number of requirements per stakeholder and see the priority of each requirement respectively. I'm selecting these columns, choose which one will be calculated and assign the calculation type. You can easily visualize a regular or pivot table with table filter and charts for Confluence. Press the plus button, but now choose to create a chart from data series. The first step is to choose the chart type. Then pick the type of data organization. When you insert the chart, you still can change the information presented on it. You can also adjust the size of the chart to your page. If you use Confluence Cloud, you will create page properties report the same way you do in Confluence Server or Data Center. To filter the table, click the funnel icon in the top right corner and choose the table filter option. Here, you can also choose to create a chart. The rest of the steps are the same as shown before. If you want to add a pivot table or combine several macros, go to the Edit mode and choose the Table Toolbox macro. Here, add the macros, move your table inside of them and choose the settings. Hopefully, this video helps you use Confluence more efficiently and discover new advantageous features. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, comment your questions and opinions below, and share the tutorial with your co-workers.